Since we got the trailer for The Babysitter Killer Queen, we just couldn't wait for the movie. We knew we were going to see something that doesn't take itself seriously but has a lot of gore-filled moments. And we were right. Now, let's go through The Babysitter 2 most paused moments. From Cole and Melanie kissing to a hell of a twist, hope you'll enjoy the video guys. Oh, and if you haven't seen the movie, major spoiler alerts. Number 9, The Scream. Now, let's go through what this movie is about and the director's interesting way of continuing the story from the first one. Cole finds himself in the middle of another satanic ritual. She's with him the night B and her friends first try to sacrifice him. But Melanie is both leading the charge and trying to use the ritual to become an influencer so she can save herself from her weird father and she looks at it as an escape from the town. It's super clear that all the teenagers that Cole killed in the first movie are back for a second chance. They came back to finish what they started, at all costs. Cole is trying his best to fight for his life, but this time he's not alone. He gets help from a new girl, Phoebe. One of the most paused moments in The Babysitter Killer Queen is the moment this mysterious girl chooses to scream very loudly through her introduction to English class. This was more than enough to mark her as weird, and viewers just had to press pause since they were in shock too. However, they came across many struggles because of their reputation. As we all know, high school hits quite hard for a teenager if they're not the popular one. <laughs> Number 8, Cole and Melanie. The moment we've all been waiting for, the kiss between Melanie and Cole is one of the most paused moments in the entire movie, and we just couldn't be happier to see this since Cole is a social outcast who feels as he's going crazy. Well, no one believes him when he talks about the satanic ritual. However, on the other side, there's Melanie, a popular girl who's dealing with the traumatic events of the first film by ignoring the fact that they've ever happened. When Cole finds out that his parents were planning to send him to a psychiatric hospital, he decided to leave school with Melanie for a party at a lake with dreams of her reciprocating his crush. And thanks to a game, he finally gets to have his passionate moment with her. Number 7, It Ends Tonight Max, Emil, Allison, Thorne, Sonia, Lee, and John, Bachelor all came back from the dead. Together with new cult members, what they need to do is finish the ritual before sunrise or they'll return to limbo for two years before they can try again. We don't hear much of B for the most part, but we can see flashbacks that show her raising the different cult members. The ritual, which follows a mix of innocent's blood with the blood of the sacrificed, shows them all get the life they want. Allison's dream was to be the world's best journalist, so she gets it. While Cole succeeds to survive most of the night with the help of his new classmate, Phoebe, who continuously blames herself for the death of her parents, things take an unbelievable turn in the climax. B was the one to set up the events of the entire movie. So, you guys definitely remember the scene where Phoebe found her childhood bunny in her locker at the school, with the key to her parents' cabin near the lake? Well, the bunny scene is one of the most paused moments in the entire movie since viewers wanted to see the little details. However, B had made the deal with the devil on the night of the accident, and this was to save Phoebe's life. Not as we expected, to improve her own. And the situations from the first movie made B to stop the cult. What are you doing? Keeping you safe. The fuck's on the inside, dumbass? That's really sweet of you, though. Number 6, The Unicorn. We never expected that these last few years, babysitter-related slasher movies would make a comeback in. Well, between the amazing Better Watch Out and the Netflix original The Babysitter, and now with the second part, The Babysitter Killer Queen, the subgenre has gotten a really needed, highly anticipated kick in the pants with smart stories, fun characters, and violence. But MCG's The Babysitter, Killer Queen is definitely a movie that separates from all the others since its story is filled with amazing twists. As we all know, it's predicated on a pre-teens boy's fantasy of a hot older babysitter and the funny scenes in it embraces the style and the atmosphere over reality. 
There's just so many unbelievable funny scenes in the entire movie. While the movie goes with the horror comedy banner, it leans more on the bloodletting scenes done with a smile. And fans couldn't help but pause the moment where this lady carelessly rides this unicorn on the beach. An instant of how hilarious this movie is. Number 5. Hell of a Twist as we mentioned, there are many twists in The Babysitter Killer Queen, and aside from the fake blood, the amazing captions, or the young boys lusting after adult women, we just can't go without mentioning Samra Weaving since she's the babysitter in the movie. Well, not until the very end of the movie, but still. She does show up in a few split-second flashbacks, featuring other members played by Robbie Emile, Bella Thorne, Hannah Mae Lee, and Andrew Batchelor but her best scene comes at the movie's climax. And Cole's old crush is also evil, so she brings back B to perform another evil ritual, of course, involving the blood of the innocent. The best scene comes when Weaving rises out of the sea in all of her cut-off jean shorts. She destroys her fellow demons to the tune of Queen's Killer Queen. And this is one of the most pause moments of the entire movie. We don't really need to guess why since she looks amazing. However, the nobly sacrifices herself so Cole and his new crush, Phoebe, can live. Number 4. Allison and B. The beautiful actresses and ex-girlfriend of Scott Dislick is dressed as a sexy cheerleader throughout the babysitter killer queen, and we can't forget that she gets down to some really passionate kisses with Samra in the first movie. Aside from the scene where Bella locks lips with Samra, the young redhead is also seen in other hot scenes such as popping bubblegum and lying down seductively throughout the entire movie. Well, before she's shot in the chest. The sexy lip-locking scene between the two is the most paused moment throughout both the first and the second movie. However, she survived the brutal shooting since later in the movie we can see her running around with a knife while a bullet hole is still bleeding through her top. Playing an apparently not so interesting high school student called Allison, the former Disney star Bella, also has many great one-liners in the film. Number 3. Terminator 2 The references in Babysitter Killer Queen are amazing but people mostly pause the movie because they thought they've seen some of the scenes before, and they're right. The babysitter Killer Queen has many references to the sci-fi film Terminator 2, and some people even say that the movies are an example of the sequels doing better than the first movie. One connection between the babysitter Killer Queen and Terminator 2 is that both are second sequels in the franchise, and the Babysitter Killer Queen and Terminator Salvation are both directed by the same director, which is MCG. Another scene is where Cole describes his school like, and he looks down the corridor. A bar falls, and a student can be seen walking with what looks like a baton. Why was this scene so paused? This scene is very comparable to Terminator 2's facility where Sarah Connor was held up. Even the blue lighting is the same. Number 2. John Connor's Hairstyle Another similarity is a scene from where Cole gets intimate with Melanie in the basement during a party right before the tragedy strikes. Here's another scene that got paused because of the incredible similarities. The scene where Cole gets close to, with Melanie in the basement during a party before the tragedy happens. You guys might not remember, but in Terminator 3, John Connor says to Kate that every time Judgment Day is about to happen, the two would meet each other. He remembers how they had gone to Kripke's basement right before Terminator arrived from the future. And another moment with a huge similarity, you just can't go without linking Terminator 2's John Connor's hairstyle with Cole from the Babysitter Killer Queen. Number 1. Game of Thrones, everybody! The Babysitter Killer Queen actor Judah Lewis said that his favorite scene was when every person in the room was trying to kill him. It's really funny because what I liked about it is these characters are out to kill Cole, but he has these kinds of funny oddball relationships with them that are specific and unique. And so it was so fun to be able to play off the groundwork that we laid in the first film and just further expand those relationships and playing to those tropes. One of the most paused moments from the entire movie is this scene with the houseboat, probably because the whole cast is together and everybody's playing around. As Judah Lewis said, it was just magical, really. We end our video here. Let us know which moment was your favorite in The Babysitter 2. And do you think the second movie is better than the first one? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. 
Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos such as this.